Hey, what's up, everybody around the world? Welcome back to another awesome tutorial in Revit Global Knowledge. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a complex route in Revit. This tutorial is Q and A, is request and answer from my subscriber that he requesting me to do some kind of routes, complex routes in Revit. Okay, let me show you first. Okay, this one he requesting from this tutorial from Python Concrete Block here, and this one is he requesting is how to make this kind of rule. And this one I got open up one for this one from Arts Daily. This one is that kind of rule that we are we want to create that. As you can see, this one got slope there, and this one got another different slope there. And for the but for the front view one is a different slope also. As you can see. So we will walk through together from start to finish for this tutorial and this tutorial is requested by Mr. Louis. Sorry about that that I help pronounce your name wrong because we are from different country. I I just simply said it's your name is Louis. Okay, by the way, let's follow along together for this tutorial. Before I getting started, I would like to ask you and this is your first time reaching out to my channel or visiting to my channel. Make sure hit subscribe button below and turn on for notification for learn more about Revit. Okay, so let's jump into our project together. I would like to go back to my Revit interface first. Alright, this one is my Revit interface that I that I am using for conceptual math to create those kind of rule. Uh, this one is my previous one that I have created one. So let's go to our file there. We need to open up for concept so much family. Go to new here, then family there. Then from my property panel there, I'm going to English here. Then for concept so much, just click here and hit open up, or you can double click on that. Okay, alright guys, so now we are reaching our conceptual mask. I would like to go to level 1 first because I need to place some reference plan first. Before I do anything, I need to set a project unit first. You earn on my keyboard for project unit there. And for this one, I would like to change to centimeter. Centimeter there. Then I would like to hit OK first. Then I would like to hit OK again. Okay, so now I would like to place another reference plan first. RP on my keyboard for reference plan, another new reference plan. I would like to place something around here like this one. Then for the this one, I would like to make it for 27 millimeter here. It has a couple of time. Then RP again, create another reference plan here. Start for this one for 400 millimeter. And another guy here for reference plan just make it something like this and we can adjustment that just like here then i would like to adjustment this one for 19 meter like this one it has got a couple of time let's give a dimension first the eye on my keyboard for dimension okay so everything is perfect i would like to create another vertical reference first rp again for reference start here make it something like this the eye on my keyboard for reference plan just make it this one and change this one to three meter select my reference plan here go to mirror there then just mirror okay perfect now we got our position there it's time to place our reference point to create our roots here just go to my reference here then select my point here again then I just simply press here hit escape a couple of time I would like to add another two reference plan here first just select my RP here for reference, make it something like this, give a dimension. Yep, so change this one, I think, give this one for hash meter. Then I can mirror again. And this one I would like to delete first. Go to reference here, point here, select here one. And here too, hit a couple of time, go to our 3D there. 
okay this one here is what we have done but i would like to assign for new parameter first because later on you can change slope there by uh from your concept zoom up there because it's a parameter so i would like to assign for this guy for parameter first just like these two guys here and for offset there change this one to new assign new material there sorry not a material a new parameter there change this just give an md one for point a yep it's okay and the center line there i'm going to offset there assign new parameter as well change this one to point b yep okay so the last guy there i would like to make it for assign a new parameter here change this one to point c okay so later on when you assign this kind of rules inside your project and got a parameter there you can change and until got what slope that you want i will put link in description also for project file you can download from that okay so i need to uh offset my parameter first go to my family type there then just go for point c point a i give it for two meter and point b give it for two meter as well and point c i just simply give it for one meter just hit apply hit okay let me see the position okay so everything is perfect it's time to create our reference line there just go to reference select line here then start from this one until here hit a sketch start another guy there hit a sketch again then start another guy here hit a sketch then the last guy hit a scale couple time okay my suggestion when you are using for that kind of rule then you start creating for create form try to make it follow my step don't for simply to go all because also your rule slope is different so it will be got error message and you can try that by yourself you will see the reason that i highly recommend to follow that so i would like to select these two guys here then go to create form solid form as you can see now we got our top view for our roots there just like this guy again like the whole guy just like this one this line here control key on my keyboard for multiple selection add another solid as you can see now our slope is running properly same as proposal from our from at daily that mr lu is getting to get at that so i would like to select here and you can simply just create form like this, like this but not what i want to show you so i i want to control z a few seconds i would like to create another line first just go to reference line start from here until like this one because later on easier for us assign for a new material there so i would like to go to here again yep Hit escape then go to another guy here for triangle set one hit escape it's time to add another form here just like this line one two and three here go to create form solid form make it for the thick one another guy there okay the last guy here As you can see now we got our roof shape already let's bring this model into our project we can add our roof by footprint so i'm going to control n on my keyboard for new project there then drop down finding for architecture template just hit ok so revit will be pop up another interface for revit architecture template i would like to go to my 3d over there because i want to bring my model in just load into my project and you can download this file on description go to project 3 here just hit ok 
for this one first by right we should place this one at level 2 but we just simply place here first hit us get a couple time open up another 3d there as you can see i would like to club these two guys first VG on my free keyboard for visibly graphic annotation category just drop down finding for level this one is applied and it's okay and this guy is wrong for elevation okay so now it's time to create our roots there because this one just a mess only messing only just like here go to messing inside roof I change for thickness for change for 125 millimeter go to edit tie there I would like to assign a new material there create a new material create a new material here then rename it for roof yep go to asset browser there appearance library roofing there just kinda drop down for okay this guy over there okay i like this one because this one is same as our material inside at daily okay okay again apply okay again it's time to place our roots there i just like here same thing you might be need to place one by one don't straight away like all because we we got error mistake because as you can see our roots is slope are uh, quite different okay let's go a couple time okay as you can see everything is quite nice it's follow our roots their proposal from Adelie sorry no proposal from Adelie it's from requesting from Mr. Lewis so we would like to create that because the slope these are, are different and the front pass there are also different as you can see here and this one we need to open some skylight first the slope there are also different i would like to go back to my model here and train this one just go to our top view there because i need to open up there for skylight go to my architecture tab go to model here model in plus just select tick for generic model here then generate ok go to void void extrusion then i can start just to the pick line ping here one and here one and another guy one and this one i just select ok sorry about that hit us a couple times first i just delete one first uh stay here bad one hit us a couple times just right here just make it for i think make it for three meter here yeah, sky couple time it's enough for skylight just hit okay first then start from the right view here make this one for wireframe okay it's like here again just make it up like this one yep go to cut here cut geometry it's like our roots there and our war is to send there this one will be cut off hit us a couple time just hit finish and change this one to realistic and this one just go to messing inside turn off for this one okay as you can see this one is running properly and boom you done your roots from up daily in the with okay guys i think it's pretty much for this tutorial don't forget to hit subscribe button below and turn off for notification if you got learn something new from this tutorial don't forget to take a look for the end card i got some suggestion and voice next for my tutorial thank you guys from joining me from start to finish and i see you for another tutorial in the week thank you